this is Math 99, and we are going to look at uh, the first part of Section 8.8. .8. And it's called um, composites or compositions of functions. So these are ways that we can put functions together. So let me give you a, an example. Uh, if I wanted to go f of 3 plus g of 3, uh, what I want you to notice that I'm doing is I'm, I'm plugging uh, 3 into f. And I'm getting some answer. And then I'm also plugging 3 into G. I'm getting some answer. And then I'm adding those two answers together. So in order to calculate this, F of 3 plus G of 3, let's see, F of 3 is plugging into here. So this is, uh, F says 3 times input plus 7. So 3 times input plus 7. I'll get some answer, uh, 9 plus 7, that's 16. And then G of 3 is 2 times input squared minus input. So 2 times input squared minus input. So that's, let's see, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 minus 3, uh, that's 15. And then I add those two together, and I get 31. So this would equal 31. And notice if I wanted to say something like, uh, I wanted to subtract him instead of add him. If I had said uh, f of 3 minus g of 3, most of my steps would have been the same. I still have to evaluate f of 3. I still evaluate g of 3. But when I get down here, instead of subtracting them, I'm sorry, instead of adding them, I would have subtracted them. 16 minus 15 is 1. So that equals 1. So it's still, you know, they're, they're calculated separately and then thrown together. Um, interestingly, I, th I think, I'm going to erase that part right there, is since I'm adding these together anyways, I could have just say I'm going to add them here, you know, right away. In other words, I could have just gone 3 times 3 plus 7 plus 2 times 3 squared minus 3 and just gone from there and got the same answer. Or in the minus case, I could have gone um, 3 times 3 plus 7 minus that whole g of 3, 2 times 3 squared minus 3. It has to be a little more careful because I'm subtracting the whole thing. You know, that, that minus sign applies to both of these. So I'm really adding 3. But I, can, I could do it either way and still get the same answer. So let's talk a little bit about notation, how we can write these. As long as I have the same input, for example, here I have the, the 3, I could, um, this can be written as f plus g of 3. So notice I'm adding f and g together and I'm inputting 3. Or I'm inputting 3 to each of them and adding them together. I'll get the same answer. Same thing over here, this, this notation, this f of 3 minus g of 3, I can write it as the function minus the function with 3 plugged into them. What's great about that is I don't have to do it just specifically for a, a number as well. I could just say x. I could say x. So let's get some, uh, some definitions written here. If I want to add two functions together, I can write it like this, f plus g of x. Or if I want to subtract them, I can say f minus g of x. So this means f of x plus g of x. And this means f of x minus g of x. And what's great is I can do the same exact thing with multiplication and division. So for example, if I want to say, uh, f of x times g of x and multiply them together, I can write it like this, f times g of x. Um, sometimes you can write this just as f g of x. They're still multiplied together. And if I want to divide, if I wanted to say um, f of x divided by g of x, you can probably guess, I can write that as f divided by g of x. So there's some compositions of functions. There's ways we can combine them using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And with that being said, let's let's mess around with some of these. So for example, if I wanted to go um, 
f of x plus g of x. I've already done that a little bit, but I did it specifically with 3. Now I'm going to do it with x. So what I can do is, well, plug in x, that's 3x plus 7. And that's added to g of x, that's 2x squared minus x. And now what I can do is I can just combine like terms. I know how to, how to add these together. I have a, I have a 2x squared. I have a 3x minus an x, which is plus 2x, and I have a plus 7. So this is the function that results from combining those two functions in that way. I could say, uh, what's g minus f of x? All right, well, that's just g of x minus f of x. So that uh, g of x is, is 2x squared minus x. And be careful here because you're subtracting all of f of x. So it's minus the quantity 3x plus 7 minus the whole thing. So if I actually want to see the resulting uh, e expression that comes from that, distribute that negative into there. So 2x squared minus x minus 3x minus 7. That's a mistake I see a lot. Um, which would be 2x squared minus 4x minus 7. So this is that. Um, I could have things like, uh, how about g times h of x? Okay, let's see, that's g of x, whoops, g of x is this, 2x squared minus x, h of x is this, 2x squared over 5, so I would just need to multiply those together. So I'm going to distribute that into there. Uh, 3x over 5 times 2x squared is 6x squared over 5 minus, oh, not squared, cubed, because it's x squared times x. And then this one would be, since that's a negative x, negative 3x squared over 5. And that would be that times that. So let me erase. We'll do a little bit more work with these. We'll try a couple more things. Um, how about where's that? F divided by G of X. Well, that would be the same as F of X over G of X. Let's see. F of X is uh, 3X plus 7. G of X is 2X squared minus X. And I'm just going to factor this bottom, make sure nothing cancels. If it did cancel, I would have to keep track of it. x times 2x minus 1. Now, there is one thing I want to note on, on, this, on this composite function. Since I divided by g, um, I know that this denominator can't be 0. I know that x can't be 0. I also know that x can't be 1 half, because notice if I plug in 1 half to this, this would make this a 0. Um, these are these are domain restrictions. These are my some some restrictions to my input. So what I'm going to do now is de define a couple other functions. Uh, so I'll just say f of x is um, 2x squared plus 4x, and I'll say that g of x is x squared plus 5x plus 6. And so notice I could do some subtraction with this, like g of minus f of x. Or I could do f minus g of x. I also want to do um, f over g of x and g over f of x. So let me do these one at a time. So uh, g minus f of x. So that means uh, g of x, which is which is this one, x squared plus 5x plus 6 minus, and remember when you do the subtraction, it's all of f of x, so 2x squared plus 4x. So I have x squared uh, plus, whoops, sorry, 5x plus 6 minus that whole thing, minus 2x squared minus 4x. Combine some like terms. x squared minus 2x is negative x squared. Uh, 5x minus 4x is an x plus 6. So that equals this. And notice if I go the other way, f minus g, I get, uh, here's f, 2x squared plus 4x. 
minus all of g, x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this would be uh, 2x squared plus 4x minus that whole thing. So I need to distribute that negative into there. Minus x squared minus 5x minus 6. Combine some like terms from here. 2x squared minus 2x squared x squared. 4x minus 5x is negative x uh, minus 6. I get that. Which is interesting. I get the negation. They're the negations of each other, which hopefully makes sense because g minus f, f minus g should be the same, just uh, just opposites. You know, like one's a negated version of the other. So I said I wanted to do um, f over g of x and g over f of x. Do those divisions. So let me do them. Um, this would be f of x over g of x, and f of x is 2x squared plus 4, uh, plus 4x. g of x is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, um, that's what it is, but what I can do is try and redu reduce it. So I notice that in the numerator, I can factor out a 2x. 2x goes into both of those. So if I do that, I'm left with uh, 2x times x plus 2. And in the denominator, things that multiply to 6 add to 5, uh, 2 and 3. So this factor is x plus 2 times x plus 3. And I can do some dividing. x plus 2 divided by itself is 1. And notice when I do that, I lose some information. I make something that's simpler, 2x over x plus 3. But I lost this information that I was dividing by that x plus 2. So I'm going to keep track of that by keeping track of my domain. I have some restrictions on my domain. X cannot be negative 2. And I say that because in order for this to be equivalent to that, I should be able to do it here, but I should be able to go back and plug in values here as well. And if I try and plug in a negative 2 here, whoop, I'm divided by 0. But here I wouldn't be. So that's why I need to keep that domain restriction. Notice if I go g, uh, g over f, it's the same as this, but flipped. So basically, I already have it factored. I'm just going to write it in this factored form. x plus 2 times x plus 3 over uh, 2x times x plus 2. Those cancel out, divide out to a 1, leaving me x plus 3 over 2x. And again, I lost some information. x cannot be negative 2. So let's do a little bit of multiplication. f times g of x. I could write it this way. I'll also write it this way with just that little dot in the middle, you know, that also means multiplication. So this means f of x multiplied by g of x. All right, let me write it out. f of x is 2x squared plus 4x. g of x is x squared plus 5x plus 6. And now what I've got to do is a bunch of distributing. So I can take this 2x squared, distribute it to all three terms in that second So 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times 5x is 10x to the third. 2x squared times 6 is 12x squared. And I'm going to do the same with the, with the next term. And that next term is that uh, 4x. I'm going to distribute it to each of those three. So as I do that multiplication, 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. I like to stack like terms when I'm doing this distributing because then um, my combining like terms is easier later. 4x times 5x is 20x squared. 4x times 6 is 24x. Boop. All I have to do now is combine some like terms to get my answer. Uh, 2x to the fourth plus 14x cubed plus 32x squared plus 24x. So that's what f times g of x is equal to. Hey, notice if I had asked for f times g of a, that just means a is my input. So it's all the same. It just has a different dummy variable here. 
Or if I had asked for f times g of 5, I can just plug the 5 in and evaluate it. All right, so get some practice in with these. Send me emails with questions. Know this notation right here. It's very important to know what these mean.